the elephant and the hummingbird. Hello, navigators of success, welcome to another episode of Labyrinth to Success. Today, we share with you a unique story that teaches us about gratitude and humility, the elephant and the hummingbird. Join me in this inspiring tale. Chapter 1, An Unexpected Encounter. In a lush and dense jungle, where sunlight barely managed to penetrate the treetops, numerous species of animals coexisted in harmony. In this vast ecosystem, an elephant named Eliezer enjoyed his daily walks, heavily treading on the damp ground covered in fallen leaves. Eliezer was known in the jungle for his imposing presence and great strength, as well as for his kindness and patience with other inhabitants. As Eliezer walked, his large ears moved slowly, listening to the gentle murmur of the wind and the song of the birds. His trunk swung from side to side, collecting tender and juicy leaves to eat. As he advanced, other animals respectfully stepped aside, allowing the great elephant to continue his path. On the other hand, a small and agile hummingbird named Coral flitted from flower to flower, collecting nectar to feed herself and provide for her family. Coral was a vibrant and beautiful creature, with intensely colored plumage that shimmered under the glimmers of light filtering through the leaves. Her life was a constant coming and going, always busy searching for the best flowers to extract their sweet sustenance. Despite their differences in size and strength, Eliezer and Coral shared a deep love for the jungle and its inhabitants, and both were highly respected by the community. However, until that day, their paths had never crossed. But, as it often happens in life, fate has its own ways of intertwining the stories of those who least expect it. That morning, while Eliezer walked near a ravine, Coral had found a bush full of exquisite flowers in the same area. The hummingbird, excited by her discovery, fluttered rapidly from one side to another, savoring every sip of nectar. So engrossed was she in her task that she did not notice her swift movement startled the great elephant. Eliezer, surprised by Coral's fluttering, tried to back away quickly to avoid contact with the hummingbird. However, his heavy legs were not agile enough to prevent him from slipping at the edge of the ravine. With a thunderous noise, Eliezer tumbled down the steep slope, unable to stop. At the end of the descent, the elephant was trapped between trees and rocks, unable to move. Coral, realizing what had happened, felt a deep anguish and concern for the elephant. Despite being such a small and seemingly insignificant creature compared to the gigantic Eliezer, Coral decided that she must do something to help her newfound friend in distress. After all, although their size and strength were different, they both shared the same home and the same love for the jungle and its inhabitants. Coral quickly flew to where Eliezer had fallen, perching on a nearby branch to assess the situation. Eliezer was trapped between enormous rocks and fallen trees, his gigantic body covered in cuts and bruises. Despite his attempts to free himself, the elephant seemed unable to break loose on his own. Eliezer! Coral shouted with her small, sharp voice, trying to make herself heard over the wind. Don't worry, I'll find help to get you out of here. Eliezer, who had barely noticed the presence of the tiny hummingbird, nodded his head, grateful for Coral's gesture. Although he did not know how such a small bird could help him, in his heart he knew that Coral's kindness and courage were something he could trust. Coral embarked on her search, flying from one side of the jungle to the other, trying to find someone who could help Eliezer. Although her size and speed allowed her to move quickly, she also knew that finding a solution to such a big problem would not be easy. Thus, Coral became the unexpected link between Eliezer and his rescue. Despite the difficulties and the apparent impossibility of the task, the small hummingbird was determined to do everything in her power to save the elephant. And so, their incredible journey together had only just begun. The situation of Eliezer and Coral served as a reminder that sometimes, solutions to our problems can come from the most unexpected places and from seemingly insignificant beings. In this case, a hummingbird and an elephant would come together in a joint effort, demonstrating that gratitude, humility, and teamwork can overcome any obstacle, no matter how big or small. Chapter 2 The Quest for Help Coral dove into the jungle, flying at full speed in search of help. Her tiny wings fluttered at a dizzying pace, while her colorful feathers shimmered with every flash of light that pierced through the tree canopy. First, Coral came across a group of playful monkeys swinging from branch to branch. 
Upon hearing the desperate plea of the hummingbird, the monkeys paused for a moment but quickly realized they couldn't move the enormous rocks that trapped Eliezer. Though they wanted to help, their size and strength simply weren't enough for the elephant's rescue. With an apologetic gesture, the monkeys continued their games while Coral kept searching. Next, Coral encountered a group of snakes stealthily slithering on the forest floor. She explained the situation and asked for their help to free Eliezer. The snakes looked at each other, thoughtful, but ultimately admitted that, although they were strong and flexible, they couldn't lift the heavy rocks imprisoning the elephant. They thanked Coral for coming to them but suggested she seek help elsewhere. Undeterred, Coral continued her quest, asking various animals she met along the way. Woodpeckers, squirrels, jaguars, and other jungle inhabitants listened intently to the hummingbird's tale, but they all felt powerless against the magnitude of the task. Just as Coral was about to lose hope, she found a group of worker ants in a colony near a tree. Though small, these ants were known for their strength and ability to work as a team. Coral approached them and told them about Eliezer's dire situation. The ants gathered to discuss the matter, and after a while, they agreed to help Coral in her mission. We can help you rescue Eliezer, but we need you to take us to where he is, said the lead ant. Filled with hope and gratitude, Coral agreed to take the ants to the ravine where Eliezer was trapped. Although she knew it would be hard work, she didn't hesitate for a moment to take on the responsibility. After all, if there was a chance to save Eliezer, she was willing to try. So, Coral began to transport the ants one by one, carrying them in her beak as she flew towards the spot where Eliezer anxiously awaited. Despite their tiny size, the ants were strong and determined, and Coral knew that, with their help, they could find a solution to free the elephant. Coral's search for help showed that sometimes, the solution to a problem can be found in unexpected places and seemingly insignificant beings. Although small and fragile, the hummingbird didn't let that stop her on her mission to save Eliezer. Instead of giving up, she kept searching until she found the ants, who proved to be the key to solving the elephant's dilemma. With determination and hope in their hearts, Coral and the worker ants headed towards the ravine, ready to face the challenge that awaited them. As they drew closer, Eliezer began to feel that maybe there was a chance of being rescued, thanks to the courage and persistence of his little feathered friend. The journey of Coral and the ants to where Eliezer was trapped was not easy. The hummingbird had to face numerous obstacles, such as strong winds and rain, while carrying the ants in her beak. But Coral didn't give up, and with each ant she carried, the hope of rescuing Eliezer grew. Meanwhile, Eliezer waited patiently, trusting that his friend would find the necessary help. Despite his desperate situation, the elephant knew that friendship and collaboration were powerful forces, and that together, they could overcome any difficulty. As Coral and the ants approached the ravine, all the jungle inhabitants began to realize the bravery and determination of these small but tenacious beings. And so, little by little, more and more animals joined the rescue mission, inspired by the perseverance of Coral and the ants. In her quest for help, Coral had not only found allies in the ants, but also in the entire jungle community. And although their size and strength varied, they all shared the same love for their home and its inhabitants and were willing to unite their efforts to save Eliezer. The second chapter of this story demonstrates that, despite difficulties, unity and collaboration can be the key to overcoming any obstacle. And although the protagonists of this story were of vastly different sizes and strengths, they all understood the importance of gratitude, humility, and teamwork to achieve a common goal. Chapter 3, The Rescue When Coral finally arrived at the ravine with the aunts, Eliezer greeted them with a deep expression of gratitude in his eyes. With Coral's help, the ants quickly scurried onto the elephant's body and began examining the area, looking for the best way to proceed. The ants, known for their ability to work as a team and their capacity to lift objects much heavier than themselves, realized that they could use their skills to build a path to help Eliezer out of the ravine. With their intelligence and collaboration with other animals from the jungle who joined the rescue, they devised a plan. Once the plan was set, the ants tirelessly began to work, carrying small stones and clumps of dirt to where Eliezer was trapped. Coral, meanwhile, continued transporting the remaining ants from the colony and bringing branches and leaves to assist in the construction. In the meantime, other animals in the jungle, inspired by the courage and effort of Coral and the ants, also began to collaborate. 
Monkeys used their long arms and strong tails to move branches and stones, while snakes coiled around rocks to help change their positions. Even woodpeckers pecked at the ground, loosening the soil so ants could move it more easily. Over time, the path of dirt and stones began to take shape, allowing Eliezer to start slowly moving out of the ravine. As he progressed, his bruised and sore body began to heal, thanks to the support and help from his jungle friends. Although the process was slow and arduous, the path was eventually completed, and Eliezer, with one final effort, managed to escape the ravine. Exhausted but grateful, the elephant couldn't help but shed tears of gratitude as he saw all the animals that had worked together to save him. Eliezer addressed Coral and the aunts, his voice trembling with emotion. I cannot thank you enough for what you have done for me, he said, bowing his head in a sign of respect. You, my little friends, have taught me a valuable lesson about the importance of gratitude, humility, and teamwork. I will never forget what you have done for me. Coral, with a shy smile on her beak, replied, We work together to achieve this, Eliezer. All the animals in the jungle, no matter how big or small, have something valuable to contribute. Together, we are stronger. Eliezer's rescue showed all the jungle animals that when they join forces and work together, they can overcome any obstacle. Lesson The story of Eliezer, the elephant, and Coral, the hummingbird, provides us with a valuable lesson about the importance of gratitude and humility in our lives. Despite being the largest and most powerful animal in the jungle, Eliezer found himself in a situation where he couldn't solve his problems alone. It was then that he learned that help and wisdom can come from unexpected sources and beings that, at first glance, might seem insignificant. Coral and the ants, despite their small size, showed great courage and determination in facing the challenge of rescuing Eliezer. Their effort and collaboration allowed them to overcome an obstacle that seemed insurmountable. This feat taught all the jungle inhabitants that unity and teamwork are essential in facing difficulties and finding solutions to problems. The lesson we can take from this story applies not only to animals but also to our own lives. We must learn to be grateful for the help we receive from others and appreciate their contributions, no matter how small or large. Moreover, it's crucial to develop humility in recognizing our limitations and being aware that we can't face all challenges on our own. Instead of underestimating others, it's important to appreciate their skills and strengths and recognize that each of us has something unique and valuable to offer. Diversity and collaboration are key elements in facing challenges and finding successful solutions. In summary, the story of the elephant and the hummingbird teaches us that gratitude and humility are fundamental virtues in our lives. Through collaboration and recognizing the value of each being, we can overcome adversity and grow together as a united and harmonious community. Thus concludes our fable, but its lesson remains in our hearts. May the story of Eliezer and Coral always remind us of the importance of gratitude and humility in our lives, and inspire us to work together and support one another in our pursuit of success and happiness. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Labyrinth to Success. We hope you have enjoyed the story and that its teachings have inspired you to face your own challenges and achieve your goals. Remember that, as navigators of success, we are always here to support and encourage you on your journey. Until our next adventure.